So all the hoopla that's been going around with um, people talking about the old school Nike Cortez, a.k.a. the Forrest Gump Cortezes, you know, I, I thought I was like, wow, okay. So the sneakers came out last weekend. People are going buck wild over them and all that good stuff. But guess what? The sneakers have been out. They're classics. Yes, Forrest Gump wore them in the, in the great movie back in 1994. But we're talking an old school pair of Nikes that all of a sudden that people are paying attention to. So that's what I do as I continue to think about it. And this is OSD. So yes, these are uh, some of my tools of the trade. I decided to um, go digging in the quiver and see if I could find my original pair from 1982. Yes, an original pair of Nike Cortezes from 1982. So nonetheless, yes, here they are. Nike Cortez, yes. 2184, white and red, size 14, believe it or not. Size 14, I know, big foot, right? So the box is a little beat up, but Bear with me here. I mean, we're talking 1982. This is older than some people. Yes, yeah, so I've taped it. I've done all sorts of stuff. You know, one particular end of it is really, really beat up. You know, you can see there. You can't even see the style number on that side, but you can definitely see it on this side. So I'm going to open it up. So these are the original. These are original Cortez, 1982. You don't believe me? Well, let me just prove it to you, first and foremost. So let's take a look right in here and there it is 82 january 3rd 1982 size 14. yes original never been worn actually in somewhat decent condition i i must say even even despite some of the glue that exists i mean look at the around the heel i mean yeah that's a lot of uh extra glue that's sitting around there but Nonetheless, these are original 1982 Nike Cortez. You know, I turn it this way, really good glimpse. What they look like in the box. This is what they look like, you know? So, fucking old school, never been worn. I actually did think about trying to wear them one time, but I, I just had the feeling that did, these things would just fall apart and disintegrate. You know, I've had that happen. I actually tried to actually walk, um, as part of a charity event, I had a pair of uh, Air Max BWs, and I wore them, and probably within the first uh, mile, I think it was like a, a five mile walk, all of a sudden the heel came off. So I, I, I decided not to try that with these, but these actually still smell leather. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, the toe cap, like crazy good stuff. So uh, yeah, 1982. Guess what? Check this out. This is what's to me really really cool this is when nike used to actually put insoles and they didn't even have any nike marking on them no nike no swoosh no nothing you're just blue kind of line insoles and that's all they were and you can see them in here see arch support real simple again original nike 1982 Nike Cortezes, still in dead stock condition. I have them sitting, you know, in the original old school Nike box. And um, yeah, this is how we do it. So, and I guess just for the record, you want to see what I'm wearing? I'm wearing Dornbeckers, Dornbecker 3s. Wear your sneakers, wear every pair. But I had to let people know about this particular pair of original, original. 1982 Nike Cortez. So these are real cool. This is always the obsessive sneaker disorder. Doing some work today. Lots of editing, pictures, and video, and all that kind of good stuff. And I just said, you know, let me try this Meerkat app. Let me show an original pair of Nike Cortezes. Really good. Really good condition still to this day. Uh, I showed these off at the Boston Sneaker Jam back in October 2014. At the Seaport in Boston. You know, for those that are not familiar with OSD, Obsessive Sneaker Disorder, make sure you tune in. You know, our live show every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, osdlive.com. That's www.osdlive.com. Very easy, very simple. So get with us. We'd love to 
have you join us in the show. We've had a number of guests on the show. We've been around. Can you believe this, people? OSD has been around for almost, almost eight years. And um, yeah, as I edit, I love to use my um, Donald Duck coffee mug. But today, actually, I had too much coffee. So now I'm drinking peppermint tea. Shout out to Celestial Seasonings and Cafe Bustello for powering my morning. And um, shout out to Nike. 1982 Nike Cortez. So make sure you tune in with us. We'll be live and direct 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, Wednesday, for episode 399 with the guests. British Walkers will be on the show. And we'll be talking all the good stuff, all the sneakers, good stuff that people are looking forward to. And the upcoming Out of the Box, the Rise of the Sneaker Culture exhibit coming up this summer, beginning July 10th, 2015, at the Brooklyn Museum. Over 150 pairs many of which I hand-picked, selected, will be on display for the world to see. Yes, sneaker culture is alive and, and well, and we, the soul doctors and disorders of obsessive sneaker disorder, are bringing it to you! So, tell your friend, tune in, catch us live tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, osdlive.com. Until then, be safe.